to accept the existence of soul is the first step towards the path of liberty. So why are we doing all this? Because we want to be liberated, we want to go pursue the path of liberation, the first step is believing in the existence of soul, the very soul who has to get liberated. Right? You are talking of liberation, liberation of whom? Of the soul. So uh, the soul should exist, no? To get liberated. So it is the first step. Therefore it is important to be doubtless about, about the existence of the soul. For this fundamental, Param Krupal Dev has composed 14 verses from 45 to 58. Introduction, 23 verses. Matarthi, 10. Atmarthi, introduction, 2. And now the first fundamental truth, 14, 4 plus 10. So in the first four verses, 45 to 48, Param Krupal Dev has presented the, 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 the disciples' doubt regarding the existence of the soul, which has is under the influence of the atheistic Charvak philosophy. So now I'm saying that I don't. I've purposely written it so that I explain that this word is not relevant here. So you can just cancel, just write Charvak. I like the Rosa, you don't know what is Charvak. <laughs> so it's fine. And I'll be explaining the Charvak philosophy uh, when I do verse 60. Verse 60 in the next Yagna, I'll have to explain it briefly. <laughs> which you will find in detail. <laughs> but according to me, Briefly. So when I was doing my master's, two years, so I had to go to Santa Cruz Kalina University four times a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And um, my dean, he was a wonderful person, Professor Antarkar. And he was a charwak. He was a Maharashtra guy. Very, very learned. So many people have met him. A wonderful person. Wonderful person means very few wonderful person. Manu, one. The tragedy of this Kal is people who are not religious are wonderful. <laughs> it should not happen this way, but it is. So he was a charwak means he didn't believe in the existence of soul or God or karma. So imagine nothing of the chapad. Huh? Nothing of the chapad. So moksha kono atmadna hoite. Nothing he believed. And still he was my best friend. So between the lectures, if I had time, I would go to his cabin and for hours and hours we would fight. As if I wanted him to be a Jain and he wanted me to be a Charvak. <laughs> and we were, I loved his company. And though I didn't become a Charvak and he didn't become a Jain, and still we are best friends. Wonderful. <clears throat> so he always remembers me. And once he had come to Yogi Sabhagra. Yeah. I think after 20 or 25 years after I, um, you know, I was done with my MBA. So once he had come there and I fell at his feet when I saw him because he was my teacher. And uh, he, was, he was so happy to see you all sitting in the audience. Kare Maru student atlo great thank you atla bada look on his. And uh, I said, Professor, maybe I was blindly following Jainism because I was born in a Jain family, so I always felt it was right and correct. I never questioned. It was you who started my questioning. 
reasoning and so i can feel your upkar so though i didn't um, um, become a charvak and he took lectures on western philosophy he was not very good at english but his knowledge on western philosophy is fantastic logical atomism logical positivism of of uk pragmatism of usa existentialism of say europe and mainly france all this i've learned from him and he was wonderful but still no impact as such but jiaki logical reasoning i've learned from him so i fell at his feet when i saw him um he must have sat for the whole satsang also i didn't know after the satsang people come to meet me so someone brought him to me and after 25 years i'm seeing him and i fell at his feet and it was a wonderful moment so so uh, presenting the first argument without naming the word charvak he says nadhi drashti ma aveto nadhi jana tu very easy you all must be must be having this doubt or must have had this doubt so nathi nathi drashti ma avto soul cannot be seen i am reading okay so soul cannot be seen nathi drashti ma avto nathi janatu roop its form is also unknown nobody can say the soul is in a triangular shape a square circle shapeless colorless so roop nathi em nat ki do roop is not known it's unknown shapeless colorless so it cannot be seen so okay you might not be able to see but it, like you can't see bacteria also but it has a form covid no form be you know ha huh? ha huh? you can draw it it has some form though it is very minute it has a form but this soul has no uh, its form is unknown so you can say it's formless or it, uh, for formless mate be in existence manu padhe so i'm i've not used i've had written formless then i cancelled it its form is unknown so we have no clue what this funny thing soul is nati drashti ma avto nati janatu roop shape shape bijo pan anubhav nahi it is it cannot be experienced by other senses also like even the air does not have form it's shapeless formless but it can be experienced by touch thandi lage ch ochi thai gayi ch vadhi gayi ch maha shivratri sudhi chal se pachi garmi start thase how are you seeing that air no you're not seeing but feeling at least through other senses to bijo pan anubhav nahi koi atma no i can't taste atma i cannot hear atma i cannot smell atma i cannot feel atma te thi na jeev swaroop te thi therefore i feel hence na jeev swaroop it does not exist i think I'm, it's so easy right argument to easy it's in it the short meaning the soul cannot be seen by eyes it has no form its form is unknown therefore uh, there is no other experience of it by any senses therefore the soul does not exist so therefore is not the answer of a sadguru huh? this is a, yeah you can just quote it see bhagwan has written te thi na jeev swaru who has written this in the shishya's role that's why i said triple role 
because now he's in a place of the shisha and he's concluding as a shisha would conclude whose doubts regarding the existence of soul has not been clarified. Okay? So the soul cannot be seen, known or experienced. It's only spoken of. People speak about Atma, Atma. They have not seen, they have not known, they have not experienced. See, are three words I'm going to repeat again and again. Let's see if Piyush Bhai of America can um, feel something regarding this. Feel, I'm saying. The soul cannot be seen, the soul cannot be known, the soul cannot be experienced. Seen, known, experienced. Seen, known, experience. Darshan, Gnan, Charitra. These are the exact attributes of the soul. Darshan, Gnan. Darshan means see. Gnan means know. And Charitra means experience. So actually the questions are centered around the three attributes of the soul. But somewhere his doubt is not clear and that's what the Sadhguru is going to do. So if you find it confusing, just delete this Darshan Gnan Charita, just drop it, just drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. So the soul cannot be seen, the soul cannot be known. known why not seen? Because eyes can't see. Not known because no shape, etc. No experience, so the so soul cannot be seen, the soul cannot be known, the soul cannot be experienced. Okay. See, a journey of any or every aspirant starts with questioning. I always say the quest starts by question. So I like a thinking mind. I like a questioning mind. When you start questioning, ah, now there is some hopes. And some people say, yes. <laughs> they don't have any question. So I said, Anukai Nathaman, it's no use investing on this purse. But Bau Nai Puchwana Krish. Then, you know, Nemiji gets sick. He has so many questions, so once he took a marker and put a question mark on his forehead. <laughs> Mentally. Mentally. I think he had done that in the US. You know? Denver. Uh, Denver Ma. One instruction Nemiji gives him and he has some five to six questions regarding it. Because he wants to do it correctly, he wants to really making Nemiji happy is a task. <laughs> I'm always happy. <laughs> so he wanted to do things correctly. So he said, Pella char paach questions puchi lo, okay, if this doesn't happen then what should I do, etc. Et so I don't have to come back to him. And he got so what do you say? Pissed off? What, what do you think? <laughs> Pissed off? He, he, he took a marker and in a forehead upper question mark. <laughs> right? So not too many questions also, but some question. <laughs> so so a, a, a thinking person will question everything and anything which does not fall in the purview of his senses or logic. See, I purposely use the word his. His senses and his logic. Everyone's logic is logical sense is different. So say Shiv's logic is a little weak. Example. So if things don't fall in his purview of logic, he will start questioning. See, so that's why we usually, when we are actually, you know, in a little angry mood, we'll say, common sense, nothing. <laughs> but the common sense you are expecting is actually proper sense. <laughs> Maybe it is common for you. Your purview of logic is quite, uh, the range is, you know, wide. But it is beyond my capacity of logic. <laughs> But you will get the person saying, common sense nati. So senses means both. Senses means indriya and senses means logic. Both. Both. 
So you will be, see it's beautiful, to go into the verse you need to have this uh, um, background prepared that one starts questioning whatever does not fall into his purview of senses or a logic. So I always tell um, uh, Maulik Ji, Okay, you people work beautifully and it's, they're never tired. SP na work ma. But the only problem is they don't share. So they say, okay, we are doing and once it is completed, we'll be telling everyone. But people want to know because people have very less logic sense. And I have uh, experienced that people are quite dumb. So I said, see, Nemi ji, why did you talk so much about Ajay Ame, Dera Sar Gayata, Dera Sar Nu Goklo Jova Gayata, Dera Sar Ni Murti Tayar Che. He shares, and you people feel, wow, what a progress. And you all feel as if all your part of it is one thing, and all you, the questions you had in mind are solved. So they don't share, they, have, they meet consultants for traffic control in the ashram. They have met people from US or people from uh, India. 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 Signage je karsu apne, you know, every road, every building, this all are temporary names. Maitri and Pramod and Daya and Shanti. Now I don't know if we'll have to make it permanent, <laughs> but it was just temporary for one year to identify. There is a whole, we have, I have met the consultants twice, signage consultants, traffic control, still people's logic says, but they have thought of everything. They have thought of some five outlets. Three you already have, two I know. If there is a big function, we'll start opening that outlet. So for the residents, it's a different outlet. For visitors, it's a different outlet. For Atmar Pita and all, we'll, pe we'll keep the current outlet. If, if needed. So they have thought of everything, but they have not shared. So people have very less sense of logic. Okay? If our question, Mane Jage Che, so Maulik Ji ne nahi chakye hoi. Ke atla nana rasta upar thi, pachas hajar manas ke hi te aos. I am the most intelligent person on earth. Maybe. But everyone has a purview of logic and senses. Like if I remove the specs, I can't see anything. I can only see this book. Epan Ocho Ocho. So there is limitation everywhere. So anything beyond that, you start questioning. So this Shishya's purview of senses, my Atma is not coming. So he starts questioning. Are you understanding properly? Whole life we are made to believe the authority of senses. First time someone is talking to us about beyond the senses. Whole life we have been to beta barabar jovanu, barabar sambalvanu, barabar yadrakhanu. We have been taught the authority of senses. Right or wrong? And so nothing is relevant if it does not come in the experience of say sensory perception. If it's not caught in the senses. It's not relevant to us. Relevant, I'll use the word ridiculous. Talking of the soul is... Once, even you all might have used this word. Today you are not using. But if I say, ridiculous, I didn't see anything. And I say, Atma Gnani, ridiculous, I can't see Atma or Gnan. Didn't you all use these words when you were thinking, reasoning out everything? See, now you have arrived on faith is a different thing. So you might get friends who might think talking about the soul is also ridiculous. 
false, impossible, illusion, deceptive, because it does not fall into the sensory perception. Very clear? So this is the state of our shishya. Our shishya means the shishya we are talking about here. The authority of sensory perceptions in his mind is so great that anything not caught in that, he refuses to accept even the existence. To the level he talk, he thinks talking about it is also ridiculous. Talking about it also. But now he has met a Sadhguru, so he said, let me present my doubt, let's see if he can solve it. See, for most of the people in the world, in fact, the world begins with senses and ends with senses, or I can say body, say. His life begins with body, ends with body. For most of the people in the world, Sharir, Sharini Shata, Sharini Ashata, and die. It begins and ends with body, senses, so one thing only, body. Either they don't want to go beyond the senses because they believe in empirical ex experience and empirical evidences also. Empirical, you understand. What can be perceived by senses and logic. That is called empirical. And I've used this word maybe thousands of times during my MA years. But nobody else understands, so I don't use. And now I'll start using again. Empirical. Huh? So everything, and UK philosophy is totally empirical. What can be seen or at least caught in logic only that needs to be believed and nothing beyond it. So I have done a whole year on logical atomism and logical positivism. Carnap, Air, who all else have, who else have done? Who have, who have, uh, Amit Galat borrowed all my MA notes when he was doing his MA. I said, look, half the degree you have to give to me. They didn't they don't even know that there was a library in the university <laughs> by the name Jawaharlal Nehru Library. Have you ever been to the library? They just went to the Xerox Center, <laughs> Xeroxed my notes, pirated it. So but logical atomism was also a wonderful way. Go to the atom, the base of that argument. So that was taught to us, you know, we just don't be on the periphery, superficial. Go to the base and address the base. So that was also a beautiful way. But here, people, their life starts, begins with body, senses, also logic ends there. Either they don't want to go beyond because they believe only in empirical evidences. If you can show me Atma, eyes, then I'm going to believe. So they will not go beyond. Or they are so satisfied materialistically that they don't need to go beyond senses. So this person does not want to go beyond senses because he believes there is nothing outside senses. And this person says, Ke hoi to be shu, I am happy with my world. He is satisfied in his life. Everything is, Ke why do I go deep into something beyond the senses? And all? Why should I meditate? I have my whole program, Monday this party, Tuesday this party, Wednesday this part, Thursday shopping, Friday, ah, uh, Saturday gossip group, seven, um, Sunday Pelu group, Maila group, Pelu group, uh, Maila, so Maila, Mandal, Mandal. Huh? My mother had one group, Madhur Milan, Madhur Milan. <laughs> they had started one group of 40 ladies. So, Judah Judah group ma, Judah Judah ghar meeting hoye lokon. 
I'm talking of 75, 76. Uh, she now has only satsangis around her. So she had this Madhur Milan group and one day the meeting was at our house, Shiv Sagar. <laughs> and that being a Saturday, I was in the house. <laughs> and I see ek pachi ek butterflies away. <laughs> you know, but the, I don't know. So far from base and they start gossiping for, and it continues for two to three hours with all snacks served and everything. And by what's what, my guy, and a games rame, and they do nonsense kare. So, I'm room ni pachati abadu jo, and I think it got over at 5 30 in the evening. I said, Mummy, I'm not a pachkan le. And Submit your resignation, and she had become some commit, committee member. Came with the time <laughs> so, and you know, so she can very well. Uh, so, I said, if you want to pursue the spiritual path, first put an end to this. <laughs> what so, some are complete, but either way, they lose out on a deeper and richer understanding and experience. When you experience something beyond senses, transcending the mind, that is a much deeper and richer experience. And they lose on, on that. I just say, fine, let the journey begin this way, but uh, you are going to lose out. And at least pause and listen to the enlightened master. I'm not saying blindly follow him, but at least listen. One thing is sure, the disciple, from his, question, from his query, you can realize, Nathi drashti maavato, nathi janaturu, bijo pananubhavnai, tethi na jiv saru. He is a person who is thinking. Bias nati. I don't like all these white clothes wala people. I don't like going to the temple. So I don't want to believe in the existence of soul. He's not that stupid person. He's thinking and saying, I can't see it. Magnifying glass ti dekha tu nati. Microscope ti dekha tu nati. Telescope ti dekha tu nati. No way I can see it, not even with the help of any gadget. So why should I believe? So at least he's thinking. So that one thing is good. And a guru, when he realized that at least he's thinking, so mari entry na chances che. So you are so emotional, bas mane ulage che. Muktar kisama. Don't speak. Either give reasons, because I am not interested in your emotions. And I don't believe you at all. That is another thing. I can't say that because you'll be offended. But I'm not interested in money. Because you give your reasons. That's why engagement, don't ask anybody reasons because they won't have. Funny thing I wrote, should I share? People ask me about the choice of their soul mate. I wrote that. People ask me about, you know, whether their choice is right or wrong or whether they should go ahead. So people ask me about their choice of their soul mate, but they don't know I am here so that you meet your soul. Mate, mate, you don't have any knowledge. But if you want to meet your soul, I am... That is why I am here. It's completely fine because Khali Mari Sathya spiritual sabandh rakhani jarnati, emotional bhi rakhi shako. And when it comes to emotion, you always want to share the emotion, so I'm not criticizing anything. But my main purpose is so that you meet your soul and not your soul mate. That's not my purpose because everything is shanbangur and useless. 
And even if I say yes, sansar is sansar. So don't blame me for anything. Trijat divas a kleshtha se. Chotha divas a ekwar to divorce na vichar bhi hao se. Because it is sansar. And I can't change the nature of sansar. I'm not the creator of the world. I, have, I, I would have created it very beautifully if I was the creator. I am the creator of spirituality in your in your, not the world. So people ask me about their soulmate, but I am your soul soul met me like soul met Martin, not mate Martin. So let's go back to forty five. So our knowledge is so much associated by visibility. Visibility. If you, are, if you can see, you are going to say, I know it. If you cannot see, you are going to doubt its very existence. You won't say, I don't know. You will conclude, our change nahi. Our knowledge, see, every point you is going to, you know, ex expand this verse the essence of the verse. So, our knowledge is so much connected with visibility. So, if anything is not visible, I'm going to doubt the existence of it. Unfortunately, soul is not visible to my eyes. And so, the doubt. But so much Knowledge is associated with visibility. So disciple is doubting the visibility. He cannot see, he cannot know, he cannot experience. So he's saying, I don't feel the soul exists. But I have reasons for saying this. And my reasons are, number one, the soul cannot be seen through eyes. Eyes, the dekhatunat. Like other objects in the world. It is not that I cannot see anything. Then the problem is in my eyes. But I can see this. I can see this also. I can see this also. So, it's my eyes are like the perfect. But I cannot see the soul. So, Baduch Pelu de Katu and the Kalu Kalu Amukamara, Ikatma Pitchak, Badu Kalu Kala, Dava, Dekai Bade. So, that is the problem in that person's eyes. Because in a Mudu Marama be Dekai to happen, Papa problem, Tamara Manati problem, my eyes much. That's what I Because I've always been, you know, considering myself a pure soul. And a mat and a Kala Dava Dekai. My kinjal jin has a problem. But, um, yeah, she's convinced the problem is in her eyes, right? Oh, Toto, you are very near Samyak Darshan. If, if you actually believe that. If you believe that, ke raag dvesh karwa jau kai chhed nahi sansarma. Everything is in my eyes, in my belief, my knowledge. Toto Samyak Darshan. Okay, but let's come back to 45 only. So, I cannot see it. Its form is also unknown. No form, no color, not shape, no shape. Even the self-realized people, enlightened people, they don't know the shape of the soul. They don't know the color of the soul. They are saying colorless, colorless, shapeless, shapeless, what? Even they have not yet figured out what form is the soul. So what, uh, you understand, right? No, uh, cannot see, number one. Uh, the form is also unknown. Okay. And third, so there are many objects in the world which cannot be seen, as I said, air. But it can be perceived through other four senses, apart from eyes. Either you can hear, you can't see sound, but you can experience it through ears. Smell, taste, touch. So at least by other senses, right? If not eyes. Eyes is most vital. So it's dealt with separately. And I'll explain more when we go for the... We come to the verse of solution. Why eyes were separated from senses. Bijopan anubhav nahi. Ane nathi drashti maotopan 
in, say no, okay, it is not coming in the purview of five senses. So it would mean the same. But an eye is separately dealt because eyes is so important. Ek divas experiment kari jo blindfolded. You will realize life is not worth living. You can live without legs maybe. You can live, you know, you can live uh, with a dead ear also. But eyes go, then life is just not worth living. So I'll deal with it separately. So eyes and other four senses, I can't see or experience the soul through any, any of the senses. So I, as I cannot see it by eyes, I have no, other ex senses can't experience it. So I conclude that the soul Tethi na jiv saru, concluding that the soul does not exist. The soul is not a unique, a separate, a distinct substance, as you say. So, and without any sign, without any identification, there is no reason to believe the existence of the soul. Why do you need a soul? You know, so many people say, uh, why are you doing all this meditation and all? So, you all will say for self-realization and all, right? So, the first question is, why do you need a soul? You need a car, you need a good house, a wife, or etc., etc. But we actually don't need a soul. So, it's not... There is no reason in believing in the existence of the soul, because it cannot be seen, its form is unknown, and it cannot be experienced by any other senses. Yeah. Nathi drashti ma avito Nathi jana turu Bijo pan anubhav nahi Tethi na jeev swaroo